Kimani Chungwa, the majority leader and a very close ally of President William Samuel Ruto, today made some very shocking revelations against Deputy President, that is Rigadi Gashagwa. And uh, it is interpreted that the conflict between these two people, that is Rigadi Gashagwa, the Deputy President, and Dr. William Samuel Ruto, is only but growing. And maybe before we go further, let us listen to uh, what Kimani Chungwa said, especially in regard to the behavior of Gachagua uh, in the administration of Kenya Kwanzaa. Give a man power and money, then his true character shows up. And I guess that is what has happened. When people got power, they got access to state resources, then their true characters came out. I don't know what you'd say of a person holding high office who walks into a meeting in State Lodge, grabs by the collar a junior officer, the name of Dennis Itumbi, threatening him with physical assault within the precincts of a State Lodge on the basis that someone who had no defined role until recently, uh, I think he would say his, his work is come here, go there. Mm. Uh, he's not tweeting the things you want him to tweet. Why would you, if you hold high office, be so petty and vindictive with leaders because they are not kneeling before you and hailing you as a king and the greatest of all? Why would you, for instance, be belittling your own member of parliament and telling the whole world how much dowry you paid at his wedding, how you spent your time and money, and mind you, I spent more money and more time in uh, Kiamba mm. constituency. To a young man like Nyuguna Kawanjiko, the member of parliament for Kiamba, why would you insult the lady, gracious lady who represents the people of Baringo County and call her a prostitute? because people have refused to sing to your tune or because they have associated with people you do not like. Mm. Florence Jamatia was insulted because he was uh, working at the time being with the, the member for Kiharu. You've heard the member for Kiamba narrate his ordeal. And I can tell you members of parliament, especially those from the Mount Kenya region, have harrowing stories of what they have had to go through. I said the other day, many of them shudder in fear because of this desperation and attempts to intimidate them uh, because you are desperate to pull people together from a region so that you may use the levers of that region and the people. One, as a shield and a mask to mask your true character. And two, to blackmail government and the president. Now from Ichungwa, we can see that it is being perceived by the Kenya Kwanza regime or the Kenya Kwanza government headed by Dr. William Samuel Ruto that Gachagua is not behaving well, especially in terms of helping the president to actually actualize his policies or his plans that they promised a people in the year 2022. And in this video, I actually want to show you or to take you through why, why it will be necessary for President William Samuel Ruto to actually make some difficult decisions against his deputy president, that is Rigadi Gashagwa, which may even include a possible impeachment. But before we start diving deep, let me request all those who are new to our channel to take one second and hit that subscribe button so that anytime we release this kind of content, YouTube will always notify you. I am your host Socrato and let us dive into a bigger picture understanding of what is happening here. Now, the administration of Kenya Kwanza, led by Dr. William Samuel Ruto, is actually expected to be run by the president and his co-principal -princ assistant is the deputy president that is Rigadi Gashagwa. We expect them to help each other in actually actualizing what they promised people in the Republic of Kenya. And 
if one of them fails or actually seems like he's working against the agendas of the government, then it in itself will impact the whole government. Now, Ichungwa is telling us that the ideas or the proposals that uh, uh, Gachagua is coming up with or the, 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 what he wants is actually pulling back Kenya Kwanza regime. And uh, he has given an example. He has said that, for instance, anytime Rigadi Gachagua talks to people through the media, for instance, uh, he was talking to the Kikuri uh, nation, he speaks only about politics, eh? about why uh, Raila Amolo Dinga has been brought, about um, making peace with the Uhuru Megai Kenyatta, things like that. But there is no any point or any specific point he made a statement maybe supporting the policies of Dr. William Samuel Ruto. Let's, for instance, say something like that new funding model. Let's say something like the new policy about health. Uh, let's say something about their Adani. And uh, I think that is true up to that extent. But the reason likely why Rigadi Gashagwa is not pushing these policies as he was pushing before is because he believes that people are against the policies of Kenya Kwanza regime. People don't like the way uh, this government is going. Remember, the new uh, health uh, model is actually not good. People are not receptive of the model. The new model about education, it is making education very expensive. These are Danny deals. So, from Rigadi Gashagwa, he may be able, or he, uh, based on his political ambitions, he sees that if he supports these unpopular policies, then it will be very difficult for him as a person or as a politician to advance his political interests. And that is why he's shelving or he's shying away from pushing the agendas of Dr. William Samuel Ruto. And this is actually indeed working against the regime or it's working against President William Samuel Ruto because his assistant is not actually offering or giving uh, that support that he's expected to offer and I believe that it will need or it will actually force uh, the president to uh, try and find someone who will help him and to find or find someone who will help him is likely to replace him uh, the, the, the one who is there but is not helping him with someone else and that's why I believe that likely uh, there could be a deal or some kind of behind the scene activities aimed at impeaching Rigadi Gashagwa. And this, you can see the pattern from 48 members of parliament from Mount Kenya coming together uh, to endorse Kiture Kindiki. Uh, we see how he has been uh, trying to make peace with Raila Molo Dinga and the, the side of Azimio so as to get more votes from uh, to parliament to impeach Rigadi Gashagwa. So it is clear that Rigadi Gashagwa is likely to be impeached and the person who will replace him or the person who is actually anticipated to replace him is Kithure Kindiki. But still here, you can see that Kimani Ichungwa is the person who is pushing this agenda so much. But the president seems like he's not... Re okay, he's uh, uh, saying something, like he's also uh, saying people should stop politicking, but he's not coming out very clearly to tell the deputy president about what is happening. He's not uh, actually complaining directly. And I can see that here, uh, Kimani Ichungwa is the person who is actually being used. So the president is the person who is pushing these things, of course. It is not uh, Kimani Ichungwa. And for Kimani Ichungwa, I think he, he actually needs to learn eh, from what has happened before. And I think I covered the same in my previous video, that what he's actually doing, of course, it is good for their own, the interest of Kenya Kwanza regime. But if you look at it from a larger perspective, after this move is actually finished, that is assuming uh, uh, the person who is to be removed, that is the guy Gasoga is removed, then maybe the interest of the president could change. And the president will have to align himself with those new interests. And it is not actually 100% sure that still the interest of the president and those of Kimani Chungwa will be converging. And up to that point, I, I tend to believe that uh, Kimani Chungwa could also just be on the way uh, to be attacked or suffer the way uh, that Rigadi 
Gashagwa is suffering. So uh, it, it is something that he actually also needs to tread very carefully uh, because even assuming the impeachment fails because it is also likely to fail or not, not happen, Kimani Chunga has already made a big enemy that is uh, Rigadi Gashagwa and the only thing that can save him is the impeachment of Rigadi Gashagwa. If he, Rigadi Gashagwa is not impeached and we go like that to the year 2027, then be sure that Rigadi Gashagwa will ensure people like Kimani Chunga are not elected again. He will make sure through whichever means he can to radicalize the people who come around the region that uh, Kimani Chungwa comes and other people who are opposing Rigadi Gashagwa to do, to, to ensure that these people are not elected again. So it is a very, very uh, risky uh, gamble for Kimani Chungwa and to the point or uh, to the degree of coming out and explaining, even saying that uh, Rigadi Gashagwa wanted to beat Itumbi slaps it is something that uh, means that it has reached a point where he cannot go back. It is only to finish this journey of impeaching Rigadi Gashago, or he will also be impeached. And by impeached, I mean he will be removed. He will not actually be elected again in the year 2027. Uh, so that is what I think about the development uh, that is happening. And uh, all this is the grand, eh, the grand betrayal strategy that is being done uh, by the president on just to ensure that he's able uh, to win the election the year 2027. So even though he's saying that um, people should not politic for 2027, but he's the person who is heading that. I have seen him moving to Nyanza, moving to other places in the country, trying to sell agendas, which are really not agendas, but we understand they were political gatherings and political campaigns to ensure that he retains power in the year 2027. I don't know what you think about this move by Kimani Chungwa. Do you think it is a legitimate concern that should actually be uh, considered eh, by Wananchi, or is it just a political gimmick that has no value and should just people focus on ensuring that the government delivers on what it promised? Please feel free to show your opinion at the comment box. Until we meet again, bye-bye.